Hey gang, what's up? Equipment Editor Jim Park here. On this video, we've got Freightliner's Vice President of Vocational and Medium Duty Product Market Development with us. Aaron Skates is going to lead us on a tour of the new interior of the 114 SD Plus work truck. The 114 SD has been around for a little more than a decade now. It's received a few perfunctory updates over the years, but in September, Freightliner revealed a new and improved version of the truck. They're calling it the 114 SD Plus. The company says this upgrade is a significant step forward in materials, features, and technology for one of the best-selling work trucks in the country. I'd love to know what you think of the new interior on the 114 SD Plus. Please leave us a comment in the space below and please give that like button a tap and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any future videos from HDT. All right, let's dig in and see what magic Freightliner has worked on this tried and true workhorse. All right, so we're in the cab of the 114 SD Plus and this is uh, equipped with a DD13 and Allison automatic transmission. Just want to go through some of the major changes uh, to the interior system of the new Plus series. So you'll find this in you know, all of the M2 SD Plus models. First thing you notice is that the dash, door panels, those are all new and the, the materials have been upgraded from what you've seen in our legacy products. So um, better materials, basically uh, more durable, easier to clean. Um, and also huge improvement in eliminating buzz squeaks and rattles. Um, so that's the first thing you see. Kind of looking at the door panel, number one, um, you notice that we've moved the window controls, door locks, and mirror controls. That's all easily accessible now where you would expect to find it uh, up on the top of the door panel. That's IP67 rated, so that basically means protected against dust and uh, light water intrusion. So if you have the window open, no worries about the electronics. Uh, also have an integrated door pull. This one has an optional map pocket. So you can either have a map pocket or a kick plate. That map pocket has a contoured uh, shape, so you can use it as a grab handle, especially in a vehicle like this where you've got uh, higher ride height, larger tires. It's really at a perfect height to get you in and out of the, out of the cab. We also moved our speakers, so the speakers for the stereo, it's also where you get audible warnings from the active safety systems. Um, we've moved those from the dash onto the, the door, that really improves the performance of the sound system. Um, that was one of the uh, pieces of feedback we got from our customers about the, the legacy product. First thing with the, the steering column, uh, we've added a um, fully uh, infinitely adjustable uh, steering columns, telescopic. So prior models, this really was a detented. You were kind of limited in where you could where you could put it. So a huge improvement um, in terms of ergonomics. Um, that then kind of leads me to the instrument cluster. So we have a five-inch display, digital display that um, shows you things like vehicle status, warning messages, diagnostics. You can do vehicle speed. If you do something like uh, engage your PTO, you automatically switch to the PTO screen where you've got your speed presets and you can cycle through that and using the steering wheel controls. So we've added on the left hand side of the steering wheel, this is sort of the navigation side where you can move through the different options in your uh, digital display. You've got volume control here. And then on the right-hand side, you've got things like uh, phone, uh, answer, and hang up. You've got cruise control settings and also some lighting controls as well. And then this button here cycles you through the different screens. The whole idea with doing this, we're taking some of the, the controls that would typically be maybe on the B, B panel, move them to the steering wheel so that the operator can really keep their hands on the wheel and eyes on the road. So this is really done... Um, uh, not just for driver convenience, but also for safety. So I will talk a little bit about the flexibility of the dash panel here. Um, so on the B panel, we've got this configurable space where theoretically, if you wanted to, you could have up to eight packs of four switch banks. So you can get 32 switches in this area. And so you'd have a mix of sort of vehicle controls like lighting, 
PTO, that kind of thing, but optional switches uh, as well. So up to 32 down there. Um, and if that doesn't uh, do it for you, you can also get in the overhead console, rather than cubbies, rather than having a CB or a radio, you can also get panels up above to have up to 24 optional switches as well. So, um, it, you know, of that count, seven of them can be electric over air. So if you've got pneumatic controls and you want to you want to customize that, we can we can accommodate that as well. So um, huge flexibility in terms of the number of switches and the location as well. So you can move things around. You can move switches to where you want them, and then using the check tool, you can actually go and then and then point the check tool back and say, "Hey, I move this over here," and then everything is going to work um, as it should. So everything's all multiplexed in now. There's no actual hard wiring of anything anymore. We do offer. Um, we do offer up to four hardwired switches. You know, you've got a spectrum of uh, TEM, uh, let's say, applications and, and even sophistication where, a, you know, power and ground, that's all I need. You know, I don't need J1939. I don't need programmability. So we can still accommodate that. And those people um, who don't want to use quick fit, you know, we can still give them a hardwired switch and, uh, you know, a high amperage power source, and they can get the job done that way. But the vision is that quick fit, uh, using the programmable modules and check tool, especially on a truck like this where you've got, you know, tons of body equipment, lots of complexity. If we work with the TEM, we can actually set up our switches with the functionality that the, the, the TEM needs. They can create their own logic and interlocks through the check tool. And all of that will then output to our customer interface connectors, of which you can have one on the back wall, on the interior, or you can get it at the, the cap corner. So the advantage there, like I said, it's a vision, it's going to take some time, is that if the TEM creates their own harness to plug in directly to our Deutsch-style connector, then when they receive the truck from the dealer, it's essentially for them, it's a plug-and-play system. Plug in they can move right on to, to doing the validation of their equipment, right? So they don't, in other words, they don't have to tear apart the dash, add switches, do a bunch of uh, non-value added work on the wiring side. So huge, huge potential um, and uh, something that we're, you know, super excited about to have now on the, the M2 ST Plus. So this is an example of, I'd say, a typical TEM integration of their equipment, right? So they've got, they've drilled holes in the floor, um, they've got, you know, uh, wiring and air connections coming in. They've got their sort of pedestal mount for their warnings and their controls here. Um, th this is fairly typical, and I think a lot of the industry does this. Um, this, is, this is something that we would, we would like to promote the virtues of the quick fit system because a lot of this, if you notice, um, they're using, you know, some pretty uh, heavy electrical connector pass-throughs, we can do all of that through the quick fit system. So I mentioned the, the customer interface connectors. You know, we can mimic a lot of this same functionality. If there are air controls, we can also do programmable air solenoids um, through quick fit. So the, the advantage of all that and, and you know, working with Thames is that ultimately we can remove um, the need for this equipment, which has, you know, various warnings and uh, you know, switches that are sort of TEM specific, we can integrate all of this into the dash here using quick fit. And so that's our vision. And it's going to take some time to, you know, educate and train and, and, and uh, you know, get that sort of engagement and buy-in from a lot of the TEMs. But the capability is certainly there. And I think the, the light bulbs are going off for a lot of the TEMs, really seeing the potential uh, that the quick fit system does bring. Pretty cool. I think the bodybuilders are going to be really happy with the new electronic and electrical interfaces, and drivers are bound to appreciate the new quieter work environment as well as the flexibility of that new dash layout in the 114 SP+. So, what do you think? Let us know in the comments section below. And don't forget to check out our other on-the-spot videos and our HTT Talks trucking videos too. I hope you give us a like and subscribe to the Heavy Duty Trucking YouTube channel that helps us build our audience. I'm Jim Park. We'll catch you in the next one.